what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Trikela for the ones who are new so y'all we are at the karaoke lounge right now it's my friend's birthday so I am going to celebrate her birthday with her she um supposed to be here I'm not late I'm not late y'all I'm a little early so I'm just gonna give it like a little few a little few minutes or whatever but yeah so it's her um birthday it's her 34 um 34th birthday so yes happy birthday miriam if you're watching this can't wait to celebrate with you um so yeah i'm excited because i'm about to eat and just you know enjoy myself this is my first time really stepping out without the kids so yeah i know how that goes i'm a little like mm. Hmm. But yeah, I gotta do some stuff for me too, y'all. Like, I can't neglect me. So, yeah, we're about to go in here. We're about to celebrate my girl. And yeah, that's about it, y'all. Um, I don't know what else this vlog gonna consist of. So, yeah. But I'm gonna let y'all know what outfit I have on. It's simple, very simple, y'all, that I put together. So, let me go ahead and show y'all what I have on. Alright, I decided to step outside. But I have on my black bodysuit that y'all saw plenty of times i just paired it with some pants because why not and then i just have on my um panda low dunks so yeah and i just put on a little bracelet and some earrings curl my hair y'all and it's up in a messy ponytail right now so yeah and the smell good that i have on is zara the bunny woods so yeah y'all that's about it like go ahead and get in here it feels so good out here y'all like feels so good. But I'm about to go ahead and go in here and enjoy this night. Well, it's you for me, girl. <laughs> she looking good. <laughs> Y'all, I haven't talked to y'all in like a week or so. Um, my camera, not even my camera, my phone is tripping because I edit off my phone. So I'm trying to like get all my clips on my phone, but it's taking forever. So, ugh, yeah. But y'all, today is a special day because I am about to do something that I've been procrastinating on. I've been afraid to do again because I've been doubting myself, um, I allowed the enemy and myself to play mind tricks with, you know, what God said I can have and what I can do. So, I am putting my foot down, okay? Like, down. About my dreams, mom in the back, but about my dreams, about my goals. Yes, Poppy. I'm gonna get you some juice in a minute, okay? Okay, we're going to go downstairs and get you some juice, okay? Just let mommy finish talking real quick. But, yeah, I'm about to go after my dreams, y'all. Um, I'm going to talk more about it. But your girl is about to go to this casting um, place for my acting. If you guys don't know, I do do um, acting and everything. I was in three shows, Star, Raising the Young, and Aretha Franklin. I was an extra in all three, but in the Aretha Franklin, camera died. I had to grab the other camera. But yeah, so, uh, what I was saying? Yeah, Aretha Franklin, I was on the cover, so... 
Yeah, but I'm about to I'm about to go after my my stuff, y'all. I'm about to stop doubting myself, stop being afraid to go after what God has for me and my family. Cause listen, this is what I love to do. This is what I'm passionate about, and I don't even know why I got in my head. <clears throat> I got in my head and allowed the enemy to get in my head as well and keep me bound for so long from doing my goals. What's wrong, baby? What is the matter? I'm about to, I'm about to fix you something to drink now. Why you take your sister's sock off, huh? You want to say hey? Say hey. <laughs> say hey. No? Okay, it's okay. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready, y'all, because we are in a little rush or whatever. I got to stop by two places before I go to the casting spot. I got to stop by the DMV, replace my license because I lost my wallet. And then I got to stop by Walmart and pick up some face masks because we got to have that in order to get into the casting spot. So I'm going to finish getting ready. Here go true, y'all. So yeah, see y'all in a bit. Okay, so, um, we left the DMV, and I just decided to just, you know, because that line was just too long. I'm going to get it another day, y'all. I'm just going to use my ID that I have, but, yeah, um, but I wanted to, like, talk to you guys about, you know, how I've been feeling about, you know, everything as far as me conquering my goals me um finally going after what god said i could have and just you know putting that fear to the side not listening to myself and doubting myself and you know what the enemy says and everything so yeah i feel like this can help somebody out there because i believe we all go through it when it comes to procrastination when it comes to fear doubt um low self-esteem um down in your worth all of it so yeah your girl is here to help us out i'm helping me out too in the process so yeah um just a little bad story you guys you know like i said um i am very passionate about acting uh i've been passionate about acting since i was 14 years old um prior to that i did you know i was into modeling i was into modeling since age five y'all like beauty pageants um i was with an agent everything like your girl was doing a darn thing okay <laughs> but when i hit like around like 14 15 years old i wanted to pursue acting so um i was into a lot y'all i was in um like three different schools the first school was john casablanca's the second one was barbara's son and then the third one i can't remember the name of the third one um it, it slipped me y'all but yeah that was the last one I was um, with when I was pregnant with legend um if you guys saw that video with my birth um, delivery you guys know that I was prepping for a interview with an agent it's because I was with their school so yeah your girl was doing a darn thing okay and um after I had legend I just went down y'all like I went down, okay, like in a, whew, in a crazy way, like in a way that I wouldn't even think, like you know, like I wouldn't even have thought that I would go in that direction, far as like doubting myself with my talent, um, not pushing myself as hard as I was. I became very hard on myself, and then like that became into like, oh maybe this not for me, and um, you know what if I'm not good enough. All that started to like play in my head, like, ooh, like, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm just like, you know, like, this is not my calling, no, I dang well it is, and all that negativity started to play in my head. And I know, you know, not just me, but we all deal with that when it comes to like doing something that, you know, we're, we're supposed to be doing. It was board school. Remember that school me and you went to with the, we did the demo? Oh, that was the last one. No, the last one was that black man. That's what I was... No, that, I was talking about that last school, though, with the agent. Oh. When I, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, mama trying to, like... <laughs> she's trying to help me out. Because the last school... Because I'm going to get to it. I will get into it. But, yeah. um, 
recently, um, like a few months ago, I did start it back another school. It wasn't really like a school, it's just classes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I started acting classes and then I stopped because that voice in my head again, y'all, like, oh, I had to go up in front of everybody and this acting class was like top notch. Like this is like professional acting class. I'm not in no beginner acting class, y'all, which I did that before. Um, when I was about like 17, 18, but this class that I was taking recently was like professional, okay? And my acting coach, uh, his name is Bruce. He, he's in films and all that. So yeah, but I had to go up and do a monologue scene in front of everybody. I had a partner with me. Um, we used to rehearse together, all of that. Um, me and Jay would go to his house to do the scenes, work on the scenes together. And we would, you know, just do what we do. <laughs> so my one time, my first time going up in front of the class um, to do the scene, I was, ooh, y'all, I, <laughs> I was nervous, okay? But I did okay. I did okay for my first time. The, the coach was like, he see the potential in me, you know, like he was just giving me the, the tools that I needed, but I got in my head, y'all. I got in my head again because at the legend, you know, I said I went downhill and everything. I wasn't, you know, doing what I was supposed to have been doing. And then the beginning of this year, I was like, you know what, let me stop playing with my talent. Let me do this got into the acting classes, got up on that, uh, in front of everybody, did that scene, and it's ter it terrified me again, and I freaking doubted myself and spoke myself out of it, and yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm learning, you know, I'm learning to not do that, to not be so hard on myself to the point where I'm giving up because that's when I fail. That's when I fail the most, when I give up, when I don't push myself to my full potential. And I have people around me. I have my mom, I have my husband, I have my lady mom, which y'all know that's my first lady. And I have my pops, which is my bishop, who encourages me all the time to go for it. You know, like to put my foot out, like my out there <laughs> you know like it's nothing wrong with you know um failing a little bit but getting back up not not staying down but getting back up and pushing yourself in a disappointment sometimes you get what i'm saying so yeah and not to say that i was you know having disappointments you know it's just me like i was doubting myself I was procrastinating. Um, my lady Ma spoke to me earlier this year and she told me what to do, uh, what God wanted me to do. And I blew it. Why? Because of what I said, fear. Fear, anxiety, all of that came into play. And I'm just at a point where I'm tired of it. Like. I'm so tired of it, y'all. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm just like, I'm at a point where it's just like, my. I feel like God is nudging me. And if y'all know, y'all know. Like, when God gets to nudging you, it's that feeling that you can't shake. Like, okay, God, like, I'm here. Like, I'm listening. Like, what do you want me to do? Because it's all about pleasing him first. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm at a point where I'm just like, all right, God. Like, I'm getting to a point where I'm getting agitated with myself. Like, you, whew, you were revealing some things to me about me. And it's time for me to correct those things that you're revealing to me. So, the first thing is fear. The first thing, you know, the other thing is anxiety and stuff. Like, I gotta, I gotta rebuke those things off of me. And so do you. Like, rebuke those procrastination, fear, anxiety, doubt, all that off of you. And, you know, we gotta get to work. Okay? So, whatever you're into... Um, whatever it is, acting, modeling, YouTube, content, um, hair, nails, whatever it is, y'all, stick to it, believe in yourself, if you gotta wake up every morning and talk to yourself in the mirror and say, girl, you got this, God got you, and quote some scriptures, like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, 
do that, okay? Because one thing the enemy wants to do is get in your head and play tricks on you. He wants you to doubt yourself because once you find your full potential in yourself and your purpose, that's a wrap. He can't, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. See, the enemy know your, what your full potential can be. And that's his purpose is to stop you before you can reach your full potential. So I'm not just encouraging y'all. I'm encouraging me too. Like we're in this together. Like we're on this journey together to just conquer the fears, conquer the anxiety and go after everything that God has for us. Like what is there to lose? Like for real. Okay. Like we don't know what generational curse we're breaking once we step into that. Like I had to like, look at my kids and be like yo they watching me like how can i tell them go after your dreams and i'm sitting here and stagnant in mine <laughs> like that don't make sense so it starts with me it starts with me and i know it starts with me so yeah that's something i just wanted to share with you guys and just get off my chest because <sighs> yeah <laughs> it can feel overwhelming at times but you know, if we stick in prayer, you know, stay connected to Christ and just listen to and listen to the instructions that he tells us. And I know that sometimes the instructions be crazy. Like, God be like, oh, he be trying. And sometimes I'm just like, good, like, really? But if we just trust in his word, cause he, his, he's not going to fail us. He's not trying to, um, you know, make it hard on us. It's this scripture that I love. It's um, Jeremiah... Ooh, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> 2911. Jeremiah 2911. It's um for I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to pro prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a good hope and a future. So I stick by that. I stick by that because God is letting me know that He's not trying to harm me in the plans that He has for me. He just wants me to prosper in Him. Everything that I desire, He wants for me. So I encourage that for y'all too. I'm gonna go ahead and get in this store, this Walmart store, and pick up the mask. But I just had to share that with y'all. I love y'all, and yeah, let's stop this together and get up together and conquer these goals together. Period. Okay. Yeah, I had to come in here and get me this because yeah, I need something on my stomach. But I'm looking for the mask, like I said. Um, yeah. Cause like I said, we gotta have that in order to get into the spot. So I gotta find me a box of mask, yeah. and that'll be it. Um, I'm in a rush a little bit. I gotta go back pick up Jay. He wants to sleep in. So yeah. And then after we leave the place, we're gonna hit the mall, hit Target, and then that's about it for today. So yeah, let me find these mask real quick cause okay we found the mask and yes this is the last one in the black I wanted the black so yeah let's go ahead and get out of here alright y'all so we have everybody in the car we are on the way to Central Casting that is where I'm going if I didn't mention that before so we are heading to Central Casting Central Casting is basically um um, extra work so they basically put you to work um, doing extra you know background work and yeah um, you do a lot of shows like I said I did it with star Aretha Franklin um, TV series genius and raising Dion so yeah so I'm stepping back into this and just just you know to help get me more exposure um, if you guys go way back to my Aretha Franklin story. I was looking down below. Y'all will know that God did a thing for me on that show, okay? Like, I was supposed to be way in the back with the other extras and God moved me to the front. So yeah, y'all, um, I became Aretha's, you know, one of her friends sitting directly behind her, okay? Like, so yeah, God really like showed favor of on me on that day um so yeah don't take it lightly with uh, extra work y'all because you can get signal out okay like i may be thinking i'm an extra for that day but i can be, become a supporting role or a lead role so 
<laughs> God working mysterious way, um, mysterious way. So, yeah, so we're heading there. Um, we're like, I think, 15 minutes out now. So, you okay, baby? Yeah, that's how a lot of a lot of known celebrities got their start. So, I'm like, <laughs> super excited. So, yeah, I'll see you guys over there. updated my stuff so I'm super excited um because of the strike everything is like was on hold you know but she said everything will be start back up next year so so yeah your girl did it so yeah but now we're about to go and try to find some feet and go to the perimeter and yeah I know so. it, was, it was scary I went in there too oh, yeah. this elevator? on the way down I was like yo this is not feel good I don't, really know, I don't like this dark why we got to get in this one so we're not okay. Which one you press? One. one. Say it. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Ooh, Leggy! Yeah, you might take pictures in the thing. Don't check out that all? Yeah. <laughs> take a look. All right, y'all. We can't even record. He can't talk about, oh, you can't record, but you can record off your phone. How is that? Anyway, we are leaving. We took some pictures by the Christmas tree. I went or some pictures. But, um, ooh. That lighting. That was probably like a thumbnail, y'all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, today's a pretty day. It's pretty cold. But, um, yeah, we're about to head out and probably like I said, with some food, um, perimeter and stuff, but I don't want to dread this um, video too long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, so yeah, y'all, I really want this video to be encouraging and, you know, to push y'all to conquer your goals, so yeah, I'm passing this hard rock cafe, and they playing loud music, Woo! but anyway, y'all, um, yeah, so I hope this video encouraged y'all to conquer your goals. Don't doubt yourself. Don't allow yourself to keep you down and stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.